Today we're gonna try some meat. Juicy, sweet, followed by a healthy portion of meat. Ooh. Everything is falling straight from the bone. Followed by a healthy portion of meat. With crispy crackling on top. And finished off with another healthy portion of meat. Mm. Mm. Best lamb ribs that I ever had. Today we are at one of the most amazing barbecue places I have ever experienced. And it's located here in Cape Town, South Africa. Okay, we are today at the Hog House, which is located in one of the suburbs surrounding Cape Town. It's really just like a 10 minute drive from Cape Town. Awesome thing is they don't just barbecue amazing meat, they are actually a craft beer brewery. And every Friday they have a barbecuing event. It's really, really nice. The meat is fantastic. You'll see it in a bit. We actually were here last week, but we're starting out with a flight of their craft beers that are made right here at this location. You can actually see next to me, we have these drums where the beer is brewed right next to us, which is awesome. We ordered four different beers. So you can see meat, beer, animals, drinks. That animals part doesn't sound right. What? <laughs> it's not a petting zoo. All right, cheers Nelly, let's start with this one. I'm having the first sip, well actually the second sip, <laughs> of the Pilsner. It's called Pumba. And if you watch The Lion King, you know the reference. Love it, it's very light, it's 4.5%. Mm, and it has like this super nice bitterness to it. Not overwhelming, very balanced. And we have our first food here. Chicken wings, of course. Mm, barbecue chicken wings in a glaze. Looking good, right? Honestly, I don't know what I should focus on during this video. It should be the craft beer or the amazingly barbecued meats that we're gonna to have today because both are so, so good. It's really hard to find a decision, but I'm gonna start with these chicken wings. They're lovely, oh, sticky, warm wings. Look at that. Mm. Juicy, sweet, mm. charred, wholesome flavor. Oh, this is lovely. What a nice starter. Our meat platter arrives. Lovely. Wow. Are you excited? I am very excited. <laughs> Ecstatic. <laughs> so, we have here a selection of really, really nice looking meats. We have over here the beef brisket that is one of the juiciest, beautiful briskets I've ever had. Look at this beautiful bark here. The bark is this yellow, pink line that, uh, pink, not yellow, this pink line that yeah. you can see on the meat. Then here we have the pork belly with crispy crackling on top. It's supposed to be very, very popular. Over here, we have the pork ribs. And then here is something that we went absolutely nuts for last time. It is the lamb ribs. And they were so good that we didn't just take one order of the lamb ribs, we took two orders of the lamb ribs. It's a mountain of meat. A mountain of meat. A mountain of meat for the two of us. A mic-sized portion of meat. Then we yeah. have here double cooked fries. So good. And a lovely coleslaw to cut through all that richness of the meat. We have some nice coleslaw, really flavorful. It's not too mayonnaise, that's what I yeah. like. Yeah, it's very refreshing. It right? is, it is. Yum, look at those colors. All right, the next beer on our flight of beers is the Hay Bay Saison. Uh, a little bit of a, um, in German we say Trüb. Uh, cloudy. Cloudy, thank you, Nelly. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot how to speak German. Yeah, it's so hard. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, full bodied, a little bit of spice. Very floral, love this one. Nelly, which meat are you going to jump on first? Honestly, I wanted to start with the best, but I will keep the best for the last. Uh, yeah, right. Should I? I don't know. It's up to you. Well, I'll have the lamb then, because oh, this was so freaking delicious. Okay, so this piece of lamb, I kid you not, it smells so incredibly good that I like start salvating. I'm just so, it's so delicious. We have a nice layer of fat on here. 
nicely charred meat and a crust that is looking dark but it's not burnt i think it's the sauce that they put on it has so much flavor wow mm, mm, mm. it's nice and salty mm. it's literally the best lamb ribs that i ever had i could you not i'm not just saying this for the video it really is a fact. This is so freaking delicious as yeah. well. Comes with a truffle aioli. Super, super crispy on the outside, but custody on the inside. What I wanted to mention is, one would think that the lamb ribs are super gamey because it's a very fatty cut of meat and lamb is already very gamey, but just the way that they um, marinated, I'm not sure if it's marinated or if it's just some herbs and spices on top, it just pulls that gaminess out, brings that saltiness in, it's just an amazing flavor. All right, next up, I'm going to try the pork belly, and uh, yeah, wrongfully so. Super tender meat, listen to this crunch. Nice. Look at that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. They brought us some um, barbecue, some of their homemade barbecue sauce, and some of their hot sauces. I'm going to try this first off without any sauce, but later on, I'm going to be drenching it. Wow. Oh. Mm. That is so juicy. Salty. I'm pretty sure this was brined for many, many hours before it was smoked. The crispy skin. Oh, it's so, so lovely. It reminds me of my childhood because my mom used to roast uh, pork in the oven and get the skin nice and crackling. So lovely. So good. Okay, the next beer on the list is the Roadhog Porter. Not meant to be drank on the road, but it goes really, really well with the meat that we have here. So cheers. Ah. Oh, yeah. This one has nice fruity flavors. Oh, I think it's an IPA, is it? Yeah, that's the IPA. Yep. My kind of beer. I love it. <laughs> For the meat, pork cool ribs. That yeah. is a huge piece. And to be honest, I mean, I like the sauces that they have, but everything is so perfectly seasoned and marinated that you don't really need anything at all. Okay, watch this. They what? Oh, yeah. Woo. Everything is falling straight from the bone. Okay, I'm just going to eat it with my hands. <laughs> wow, look at that nice sauce on here. Barbecue, everything is so juicy. It's looking so good. Mm. Mm. Wow, it's the perfect barbecue sauce. It's not too sweet. It's not, it doesn't have too much acidity. And even if you want to balance it out, we have this really, really lovely coleslaw here that is just cutting through the richness of the meat. Mm. And as Max said, it's very light, it's very refreshing, it's citrusy. It kind of balances everything out, so I don't have to feel guilty about eating so much. But, you know, we hiked the mountain today. So I don't have to feel guilty about eating this today. All right, and now we have arrived at the pièce de résistance, the most challenging but also most rewarding piece of barbecue meat, which is the brisket. If you're not a good barbecue master, if you're not a good pit master, you're gonna fail miserably at it. But these guys know what they are doing. And to pair it, we're gonna have the Roadhog Porter, nearly actually called the uh, the Warthog IPA, the Roadhog. This is actually the Roadhog, a very dark and rich uh, porter beer. Let's give this a try. Sorry, I probably had too many beers already. <laughs> so let's give this a try. Oh, creamy, touch of sweetness, touch of cacao, really, really nice. And here I made a little mixture of barbecue sauce and the hot sauce that they have here to pair up with my brisket. Good cut of this. I mean, just look how this comes apart. Lovely. Ooh. Super tender, 
super juicy. So lovely, look at that. The juices just ooze out. You don't really need a knife, it just falls apart like this. Let's give it a little bit of this hot barbecue sauce. So tender, so subtle, and then you can hit with the spicy barbecue sauce. Oh, this is so good. Honestly, I had pretty much the best brisket I've ever had right here. It seems like the place is slowly filling up. It's actually the restaurant is full now. Um, so there, there's a group that arrives to do like beer tastings and groups of families and friends over here. We are at the upper level. Uh, last time we were on the lower level, so there's a lot of space. There's even an outdoor area, but you have to reserve in advance. So I would recommend to message them on Instagram. Or at least like five to least, seven days. Yeah. Um, it's only on Fridays until 8 p.m. Okay, what's the damage? We got the bill. Um, we paid 710 runs for everything. So we had around eight to 900 gram just, just meat. So that's like super, super crazy. Um, and I would say like... $45, well, yeah. including the tip. Yeah, $45 including tip. And the beer tasting is 50 rand. That's like $3.20, I think. So pretty good deal, in my opinion, because the quality was... Ah, my favorite were the lamb ribs and the brisket. It's a must. And you definitely have to order the coleslaw with it because it is uh, heavy and rich, but it's heavenly. It's food that makes me happy. Uh, yes, I fully agree. It's calories that you won't regret. It's well-invested calories for sure. We will put all the details of this location in the description box down below. I am about to pop and definitely need to hike up a mountain tomorrow morning. If you guys enjoyed today's vlog, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe if you're new, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place. Really. Stay awesome. Be positive. Make it happen. Bye-bye. Bye. Test. Give me your worst and you'll get mine